Hi Roses, this is Charla Rose and welcome back to my channel. So guys, for this video I'm making some food. And by the way, this is not a tutorial guys. It's just me cooking some food and I felt like I wanted to share it with you guys. So what I have here guys, I've already started. I didn't even start from the beginning. Like I said, it's not a tutorial so what i have here guys i am making fried dumplings so basically what that is guys is just a flour dough made up of baking powder and salt to taste okay you knead it up and fry it up and bam you got fried dumplings okay if you guys are interested in a tutorial i could do that so hit me up in the comments let me know and while you're there guys subscribe to my channel like share this video and let me know what you think okay so what this is guys i have already fried it and you could see that it's nice and golden and when you insert your fork guys it just goes right in you know there's no resistance because it's fried to the perfection that you need it to be and i'm just taking these out guys and um after i'm done with that i'm just gonna put some fresh ones and let that fry and i really like i said it's not a tutorial but i just want to throw this in there i didn't um do any measuring when i was making the dumplings or anything like that i just put a little bit of this a little bit of that and bam this is what i got so this is the raw dough that i'm gonna now put in the pot and i'm just gonna put a little indentation in the middle of the i made it in a little round and then i put a little indentation in the middle and put it in my hot oil not overly hot guys because you don't want it to burn you want the insides to be cooked so you want to put your fire on like i want to say low to medium heat and you want to watch it i i mean when i say watch i don't mean you have to stand over the stove you can't move to go do nothing but you want to keep your eyes on it because you don't want it to burn okay so i let that fry maybe for like 10 minutes or so and while that is frying i cut up some onions and tomato and i'm gonna add that to my frying pot with some hot oil and i lost some of my onions along the way so i had to go cut some more and i okay guys so my tomato and onions are cooking away and you don't want to burn these guys so i have this on low to medium heat and i am stirring it as i go over here guys i have my mackerel in tomato sauce and that is grace and i also have a can of vienna sausage those two guys make a perfect combination to go with my fried dumplings i added some black pepper and salt to taste you really don't have to put salt but you know to amp up the taste you could and yeah that's it so i'm gonna have that cook up a little bit more and then i'm gonna add my sausages first and i'm gonna cut them up in smaller pieces If you want, you can put a little piece of garlic, but that's if you feel like you don't have to. time. Anything you want to put, you could put, but this is just where the box stops for me. And I had already opened my sausage and drained it. So I'm going to add that. And while it's in the pot, I'm going to just put it smaller. And you could do this on your cutting board if you want to, it's not necessary. And that is why I put the sausage in first so I have a better way to get into the sausage to cut it up. Alright, so you have the leaves that and let that cook up a little bit. Yeah. I mean, you know, after first, it, the sausage and the macro could be cooked up together at once. But I just some meat, alright? Not everything has to be with 
hopefully everyone does it. Alright, so I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit more. Right? It was on low for cook the onion and tomato. Now I turn it up on medium. As you can see, it's above a little more, right? Alright, the dumpling that I'm still going over here, sir. This is the last of it. I already took a batch out. So that's that one. And this is the first one. And this is what we're having today. I wouldn't say it's breakfast, it's more of brunch because it's now about 11 o'clock going on 12 or 12 going on 1. So maybe I'll lunch, not even breakfast. You know. No brunch to me on there. Now it's more lunch time already. So, maybe just pick my material. I already open it. And put that in. And over the years, if you're a Jamaican, this can got significantly smaller. Smaller, more money. Alright? So, this part, everyone, not everyone does this part, but I try to do it when I can get it out. There's the little bone right here. I take that out. See that? I don't think I can get it. So, so down. Put my phone up there. So you take out that bone. There's another piece. Okay. And you do the same thing. There's a little opening in the mackerel. You just put your fork or whatever. And you try and get it out. Sometimes not all of them have it in. I don't know why. But yeah. And then you're good to go. So another piece right here, sir. I just don't like tasting it in it, guys. I'm um, I mean to eat your own. I just don't like tasting it in it. Alright, so that's that over here. Alright, so with that done, you know I'm gonna stop your mouth, but you want to taste it and yeah, eat it with your mouth. Alright. But it already put like a black pepper up on the onion and thing. But you can put little more. And at this point, you can put a little bit of salt to your liking. You know what I'm My kids is going to be eating this. So I will put my pepper on mine and not in the whole thing. You know, I don't want to make it Oh, it's spicy. Uh -uh. Okay guys, so this is what it's looking like right now, and this is done, because you have to keep in mind the sausage was already cooked, and the mackerel was already cooked, you just uh, warm it up and I think to get the flavor from the sun over here, so I bake for food, so I'm going to feed it, alright, and you know why you think uh, the sauce dry out too much, because you want to put the dumpling in it and soak up the juices to make you know here dumping that nice little flavor so i'm gonna turn it off right now and that's it guys i'm gonna plate and i'll let you guys see what it will look like i really should have a piece of avocado but i don't but now i'm so cool here yeah okay okay guys so this is what my finished something you have to watch just like um fried plantain you'll be there frying the fried plantain and, I, and it's good enough but as soon as you walk away and come back the whole pot burn up so when you frying fried dumplings you have to pay attention okay guys so i'm gonna put this up and let you guys see so this is what it's looking like guys and like i said before i'm sorry i didn't have a piece of avocado to put on this guys it would make the presentation look so much better but whatever the case is it's gonna get eaten okay it's gonna get 
eaten and yeah you already know a pepper sauce is a must and some kool-aid on the side grape kool-aid that's all i had on and but it's nice and cold and icy and i'm gonna dig in everyone's digging in safi grief i just can't wait to eat it yes it's all done and guys please subscribe to my channel like share and comment under this video let me know what you think guys and of course i had to show you guys the texture of this fried dumpling it's nice and springy that's what let you know it's all done and cooked on the inside and while still remaining uh the color you know you don't have to burn it for the inside to get cooked and now i'm just gonna suck up some of that sauce yes bite into it right now so good so good i took such a big bite guys but it was so good yes it's so good mm. so guys please go like share comment all them lovely stuff thumbs up and i'll be back again see ya